In this screencast, I'm going to talk about a very special feature in JProfiler, and that is the ability to experimentally determine the big O complexity of an algorithm. You know big O complexities from sort algorithms, for example, but you can have that anywhere in your code. For example, the size of an input collection can determine the performance of a particular method. And that relationship can be totally critical for assuring the performance of your application. Speaking of algorithms, I have a Mandelbrot fractal generator here that has one algorithmic parameter, which is the maximum number of iterations that is performed for each point in the image here. Let's record the call tree for that. When I change the slider, the fractal is being repainted continuously. More iterations means more detail. Let's stop the recording and look at the call tree. Most of the work is done by this swing worker background thread here, which is triggered by state changes to the slider. And when we look at the call stack here, we can see that the create buffered image is the method of interest. And when we look at the node details dialog, we can see that the algorithmic parameter, the maximum number of iterations, is not being passed as an argument to this method. And looking at the source code, we can see that a getter on the image panel object is invoked to get this parameter. Ideally, we would like to record and plot execution times for different values of this maximum iteration count. And that's just what the complexity analysis does. Complexity recording is configured for single methods, and we're going to add the create buffered image method now. We look in the profile classes, select the Mandelbrot image panel class, and there we find the create buffered image method. Finally, we have to configure a complexity script that extracts the algorithmic complexity from the method call, so to speak, the n in the big O relationship. And based on our previous analysis, we enter current object get max iterations. That method returns an int value, which is suitable for the expected long return type. We could record multiple methods at the same time, but we're going to stick with a single method here. Now that complexity configuration has been completed, we can start recording. Let's vary the algorithmic parameter from its maximum value towards its minimum value in such a way that a whole range of values is used for generating the fractal. When we stop the recording, the desired plot is shown. This is actually a bubble chart. That means that if there are multiple values for one particular point, the radius will be increased accordingly and it will become a bubble. JProfila tries to fit a number of common complexities into the recorded data set and shows you the curve that fits best. In this case, this is clearly a linear relationship. You can see all the other available fits in the dropdown above here ordered by their R-square values. What is an R-square value? It basically expresses how much better a particular fit is as compared to a constant line. And in this case, all the other fits are better than a constant line, and linear is the best one. And you can switch to the other fits to see how they would look like. In this case, exponential clearly isn't a great fit, so let's switch back to linear. When you record complexity data, you typically get some outliers that are not determined by the algorithm, but by other things that are happening in your application or on your computer. And you can simply select them and remove them and JProfiler will immediately recalculate all the fits and show you the best fit for the pruned data set. And if you destroy your data set too much like this, you can use the context menu to restore the original data. Complexity analysis is not only fun, but it's a really valuable tool for proving that your system will scale under real-world conditions.